This is Dominic. Dominic works at a five-star restaurant called The Pixel Palace. There, some of video games' most popular celebrities pop in to have a drink. Sometimes, they share stories and even secrets. Because as we all know, what the bartender hears is confidential, isn't it? So I'm sitting there attending bar when in walks one of my favorite customers, Samus. Now Samus very rarely takes off her battle gear, even when she's in a bar. Most of her drinks have to be sipped through straws, but this time she took off her helmet. Why? Because she was smiling. She was so happy about something. So I told her, I said, Samus, you look very perky today. She says, what do you mean by that? And I said, no, no, there's a smile, the personality, you seem very perky. And she goes, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's because I'm in a very, very good mood, she says. And so I asked her, why are you so happy then? She says, I've found someone I've been looking for for a very long time. And I said, who's that? She said, Justin Bailey. I said, who's Justin Bailey? She said, for the longest time, nobody knew. But apparently, there was this code where if you insert his name into the game, you get to see her run around the whole entire game in a bathing suit. And she did not like that at all. She found it demeaning. She found it embarrassing. Because she never took that suit off. Ever. Even when she went to church, she would still wear it. She was very protective of her body. And didn't want anyone else to see it. And so I said, well, okay, so you found this Justin Bailey guy. Who is he? She said for the longest time nobody knew. People thought he was a guy who won some sort of perverted contest, an out of work hacker. There was even a rumor that he was an alien chihuahua from outer space. But I don't think that one lasted very long. And she told me he wasn't any of those things. Told me that he was just a chubby game programmer. Bad acne, thick glasses, 40 years old and still living with his parents. So I asked, how did you meet him? And she said, actually, I met him in line at the DMV. I said, the DMV? And she said, yeah, I have to drive too. She doesn't even take the suit off for the picture of a license, apparently. But I digress. So she bumps into him in line and she hears him say the name. And she taps him on the back and says, excuse me, did you say Bailey? And he said, yeah, yeah, I did. And so this is getting really exciting. And I ask her, I said, well, What'd you do then? So you confront him, here's this guy you've been looking for for years and years. So what'd you do? She says, I shot him in the crotch. And I said, what? She said, I shot him in the crotch. I said, you mean like, laid him? And she said, no, gun, bang, boom. Filet testicles all over the place. And I said, are you serious? And she said, yeah, of course I'm serious. And I said, well, what did the cops do? It's the DMV, there must have been cops there. She says, oh, they tried to stop me, but I shot them both in the face. Cops are not very threatening when you have a giant suit of armor, you see. And I'm standing there just dumbfounded about this, and I can't believe what I'm hearing. So I asked her, I said, well, what'd you do next? She said, I just took him home and tortured him. You know, kind of the generic, strap him down, cut open his belly, and take out his insides. And I said, you... You tortured a man to death. She says, no, 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 not to death just to the breaking point between life and death. So I asked her, I said, do you do this often? And she says, oh, just once in a while when somebody doesn't treat me right. I said, like who? She says, oh, Girl Scouts, Jehovah's Witnesses, pizza delivery boys, mailmen. Quite frankly, I'm at a loss for words. And she says, how come every time that you kill an alien from another world, you're considered a hero, yet every time you slaughter five to ten innocent bystanders, you're considered a psycho? Well, I'm legitimately terrified right now. I mean, I'm crapping my pants beyond belief. And all I could think to ask her was, why did you do it? She says, because they were looking at my body. Bunch of bastards, she said. All they ever think about when they look at me is my body. And I said, even in the battle gear? And she said, especially in the battle gear. And she told me that she just wanted to set them straight, that the body is in fact a vessel. A very fragile, painful vessel. And she just wanted to jam that into their heads, before she crammed her laser blast into their heads, that is. And I said, that's a very interesting story you got there, Samus. <laughs> is there um, any way you thought about making people not look at your body? <laughs> Outside of torturing them? And she says, well... I did have this one idea. You see, I just bought this brand new Zero suit. 
She said, that's going to change everything. No more people can look at my body. They're going to respect me as a woman, not as an object. Have you seen her zero suit? The thing is tighter than saran wrap. So she pays for her drink and starts to head out the door. Before she leaves, I'll say, Oi, Samus. Um, take it easy. She says, don't worry. After I get this new zero suit, everybody is going to respect me. Two weeks later, she shot the balls off a leisure suit, Larry. I guess he didn't quite respect her, but then again, I don't think he respects many women. I just don't know if the people have it coming. I mean, okay, leisure suit Larry has it coming, but everyone else just seems, um, j just a tad extreme. But I guess that's the idea in the video game world. Everything's an extreme. Sex and violence. You see a lot of strange things as a bartender. You see a lot of strange things at the Pixel Palace. So, I'll see a lot of strange things as a bartender at the Pixel Palace. That ain't no mine. It's weathering.